I'm just going to move this about just to level it across a little bit and then we'll tamp it down once we've actually put all the gravel down so we're not ready to do that quite yet the feet will suffice for now and basically this sub base is crushed limestone so we've got limestone sort of gravel down to absolute fine so from about seven centimeters across i would say so a couple of inches for these bigger piece of limestone down to dust size and the reason it's all these different sizes is it will mesh together really well so when it's compacted it'll make a nice hard surface ready to put other materials on top because it'll be nice and compacted nice and hard but also nice and free draining as well so the water can percolate through so i have compacted my layers of hardcore over here on this path in 50 mil layers so i've poured on enough of this hardcore for about 50 mil or two inch layer then i've used my hand tamper to hit it down all across the surface to make it nice and compacted then we've added another 50 mil layer compacted another 50 layer mil layer compacted and to get it nice and level because it dips away behind me i've had to add different thicknesses of this sub base so closer to the front of the camera here we've got about 100 150 mil depth in total whereas behind me because it dips away quite a bit i've had to build it up so it's same level it's actually going close to 250 mil so five lots of gravel and then tampered down so it's been a lot of work to get this all a nice level but it's really important to get it pretty much flat because of the edging you may have noticed this edging around the side i want this nice and straight from the start to the finish of the path hence why i've had to get my layers nice and level i've not compacted down this final layer as you can see so i'm going to spend quite some time i'll be standing up while i do this i'll be going across and i'll be just hitting this down hitting it all the way across over and over and over keeping it nice and level like this nice and vertical and compacting it down so this will spend you know spend quite a bit of time doing this obviously if you've got the space and the time and the money you can use a whacker plate which will do the job a lot quicker and it will save your arms as well but i like to use this hand ramming rod to do this so done that and then you've probably seen this edge in here i've got this corteen steel edge in 2.5 millimeters thick and you've got to have it nice and level because when you connect the pieces they are dead flush and you can't have much variance going up and down so you need a nice level edge to work with i'll talk about this more in a second but i've used this rather than granite sets or anything else so that i maximize the width of the path so what we've means is if i had granite sets or bricks on the edges they take up so much space you know 50 mil or 10 so 100 mil and then you have it on both sides so that's taking up 200 mil plus your concrete haunching to keep it stable it takes up quite a lot of the width and i haven't got a lot of room to play with here so instead i've gone to this very strong metal edging that doesn't wobble at all now it's been put in here and it means we've got a wider path for this area so that's why i've gone for that steel edging which i think looks really nice and should last a good 20 years or so hopefully longer so i'm going to carry on whacking this down so now that i've compacted all my hard car i've leveled it very happy with it and it goes to the base of the edge in here i'm just putting this weed suppressing membrane down and i've covered the full path behind me i've got this last bit to finish so i've made it nice and taut across the surface and then to keep it in position Got these plastic ground pegs so i'll just put this in and just hammer that home trying to get it vertical and then i do it especially around the edges and then i'll continue doing that and then this excess here i'll just get some scissors and just cut that level with the base of the edge in so that i have a nice surface to put my gravel on it'll stop the weeds growing through and growing down 
but it'll still let water percolate through so it'll be a nice dry surface to walk on even in winter. And now for the fun bit, add in the gravel. So let's take a closer look at the edging I'm using. This is core edging that comes in just over a meter lens like this. You get in different heights. I've gone for the 10 centimeter above ground, and then you've got the spikes go into the ground at about 10 centimeters deep as well. So they come in just over a meter lens, and they connect together. So I'll just show you how they connect together. Just go into the center here get the close-up so each one is the same design so you've got like a lip here and you've got a hole here and all you do is one overlaps the other then you'd place that into position in the ground obviously you'd normally be doing this vertically and then what you do with some pliers some long nose pliers is you would pull these tabs over and bend them round and that's easier said than done this comes in different thicknesses the standard one I think it's 1.5 millimeter thickness I've gone for the 2.5 which means the tabs are a lot thicker and much harder to bend around so I did struggle with that I'll show you what I've done in the ground with some of these in a second but it's pretty simple apart from this bending of metal part but it slots in nicely because it's nice and flush at the surface it does mean you need to do this extremely level when you're doing it in the ground and use your spirit level to make sure each one is level and across your path is level as well so let's have a look at it in the ground this is two connected pieces on a curve so you can see how it slots in here but if we take a closer look at the metal tabs I have already bent them round so they were flat in the middle and I've bent it round this way and I bent this one round this way you can just see that ideally I bend it all the way back so it connects that way and connects that way and that will stop it moving up and down also what I've done is where the ground undulates a bit and I've added the extra hardcore in the center but on the outside I've had to put soil around the edges and I've also used some pins some supporting pins where the ground isn't too firm and I've hammered them in they go in about 30 centimeters gives it more stability so when you try to move this it's rock hard most of the way a little bit of flex as we go to a straighter run but it's nice and solid so really good product I'm definitely going to use it again could have got lots more paths to do in the garden and there we are all the gravel's been laid over the path now and you can see it's nice and level from the start of the path to the end of the path i've used just a long brush basically just to brush the gravel nice and level but it does try to go to the edges but i've obviously tried to move it into the center as well and then I'm just going to walk over this and also use the tamper that I used earlier for the hard card just to gently bind it down a little bit so it sort of connects together. And in terms of the gravel I've used, I've used a golden gravel, it's angular and I've chosen the 10 millimeter version. You can get the 20 millimeter version as well, which is equally good. And some people prefer that as it's less likely to get in your shoes. I like the feel and the look of the 10 millimeter gravel. And it's a good contrast between this and the borders surrounding it as well. But being angular gravel, it means it doesn't roll about as much. If you get sort of rounded gravel, quite often it's sort of you go in too deep and it sort of slides about when you're walking on it, whereas this gives you a decent sort of surface to walk on. 
gives a nice crunch underfoot as well. And in terms of the depth of the gravel, I've gone for about about 40, 50 mil. So I'll just stick my finger in, work it in. And you can see, yeah, that's about 40, about 40, 50 mil depth of gravel all the way down the path, which is pretty much ideal. You don't want it too deep, otherwise you'd be sinking into the, the gravel. And you don't want it too shallow that you'll see the base of it very easily after you've walked across it a few times. So that's my gravel path with the nice cotton steel edging. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've got lots more on my channel, how-to videos and lots of exotic gang videos as well. Okay, so it's recording. You hold it really still. It's going to be tricky because I'm going to make it bumpy. Ooh, holding it. You look at the camera and we'll make it faster afterwards. You keep holding it. Keeping the camera. Oh, you're doing well. That's really good. That's good, Joy. Get to the bridge, but not on the bridge. We'll get to the bridge, but not onto the bridge. That's it. Okay. Keep going. You're doing it really ah. well. Keep filming. Oh, a bit higher. A little bit higher. Ah. Oh, up a bit. That's it. The phone's charging at the moment. Yeah. Doing really well. Get around this corner. When we're we're nearly gonna get out, aren't we? Ah, ah, ah! So bumpy. It is so bumpy. Now stop.